Hello guys, hope that you're doing well. Uh, welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. And I'm a beginner guy who's trying to learn and about everything related to cybersecurity and coding. So I decided to share with you guys everything I do learn and the CTF that I will play in the future. So if you're just like me, curious about everything related to cybersecurity and stuff, follow my YouTube channel, we're gonna learn all together. So let's start. In this video, we're gonna see a CTF that vulnerable to a vulnerability called server side template injection. So to, to understand the, this vulnerability, first of all, we need to understand some stuff. And it's the first concept we need to understand is templates. What is a template? So template is a piece of code. It can be in HTML or XML, and it has a dynamic content. For example, we have this a simple template that renders hello and whatever the content of the variable name. So this part is the dynamic content. So it depends on the runtime. So or yeah, it depends on the runtime. So for example, we can read this value of the name variable from the HTTP parameters uh, sent by the user and then we render it okay so that is the, the 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 definition of a template so what is the problem about this this gives the ability to the attacker if the developer didn't sanitize or validate the the inputs it gives him the ability to execute a code on the server side and may lead him to some uh, dangerous stuff like get into the shell or something like this so to see this on practice I did fire up our CTF and we're gonna explore the normal behavior of our website for example you can here type whatever you want I'm gonna type John Doe and then let's go it display your input as it is okay so we need to see the our server which technologies that, that they are using what is the server and what, which language that they are using so we're gonna use curl command to read the headers and we need our website's link then let's go they are using python so i they can use for example flask and jinjin to uh template engine because flask uh, it use Jinjin2 as default template engine. So to see if this website is really uh, vulnerable to the server side template in injection vulnerability, we're gonna test a famous script or a code piece of code by sending a template. Okay, so we're gonna write something like this: seven multiply by 7 and we see how it's gonna render this uh, as a normal behavior we expect it to be rendered as it is okay but let's see okay it got calculated it gives us the results of 7 multiplied by 7 and this is so dangerous we can understand from this that um, the inputs it's not val get validated or sanitized so the the server treats our inputs as a code and got executed okay so now our mission what to do we need to read our flag to, to do this uh, we cannot do normal imports for example like doing this import and OS then doing like this this importing OS model and get into the shell and executing and command and render it because uh, template engines have some limitations as we see it gives us internal server errors it has some limitations we cannot run use for example imports and what's we gonna do about it so we're gonna use something called python gadgets so what is a python gadgets is a chain of classes and methods modules to achieve a goal for example we can uh, we can do this by what this do we're typing a normal string this is a string and we need to see its own class and we're gonna see if it gets rendered 
okay it's working so now we need to keep chaining this like chaining this and with some other chains until we can get to the OS model and do our command because we cannot do import so to achieve this I did write a script in Python so let's see our script first of all let's open up our script okay and change our URL so that we can execute it after Okay, we need to grab our URL. Okay, let's understand. I did write a pilot. What this pilot do? We're taking the string and get it its own class, then the which class it inherits from, and all the subclasses available on on the server, and then sending this as a post request and putting the pilot in the body, and then checking if our request is got successfully executed and we get a response then we take the content and we as we know that co uh, the content it got encoded uh, for example the special characters get encoded we, we need to decode them then we use um, rejects to get our classes so let's see what this do in action so that we can understand well what we are doing uh, so we're gonna do this Okay, sorry guys So we're gonna do this yeah, we're gonna execute this and We're gonna see what we have what we can get so we can get all the classes uh, That we have access on the server. Okay now we are good to go so after getting all the classes we're gonna go and iterate on all of them from zero to the length of the class and create new pilot that chains class and the base and all the subclasses and we're gonna test test each class for example let's see this in action okay okay we do not need to copy this okay we're gonna do for example this let's see what's gonna happen so we have access to a certain class and we get we're gonna keep doing this and for each class we're gonna access to each constructor and then globals and choose from and search for the sys, sys module and on the sys models we're gonna search for the OS model and then execute our command cat flag uh, read to read our flag and then doing a post request as usual then checking if it got succeeded then print the content and here we're gonna find our flag and from for debugging purposes or by curiosity I just want to know the, the class name and which index okay okay let's see this in action we're gonna go to the source our virtual environment we're gonna use it Okay, I'm gonna execute our Python script. It's gonna take some time because it's gonna do a lot of requests because it's gonna iterate over 495 class and iterate over all of them. But uh, I did execute this before and I know that we're gonna find it in the class of 18 index. And then we're gonna go to its init then globals and we need to put a dot here and then I'm gonna access okay I need to remember uh, I forgot okay 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 I'm gonna take it like this I don't want to type too much okay put it like this here we need to modify it okay. 
and we need to put our class index. I did execute the Python script I and I did find out which one it's the 18 class. Okay. And this is our city, this is our flag. Okay, this our code is got succeeded. Okay, and the name of the class is the frozen import lib. Uh, this is its own index and that's it guys we did successfully get our flag I did write this Python script to find out which class like here I need to know which which class that I need to use this there is the pilot online you can search it online and you will find it easily but I'm curious to do it by my own so this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching uh, if you have any question you can put them on the comments I will answer you guys and I will put some resources uh, my write-ups and stuff you can read them uh, you're gonna find them on my github I will put the link in the description and thank you guys for watching bye bye see you on another video